This is exercise 3C in the Getting to Know ArcGIS for Desktop Textbook, 3rd edition, and I'm on page 55. Uh, this is the map that we have here from just finishing up exercise uh, 3B, and what we want to do here is, you know, there doesn't appear to be uh, an option to just close here other than exit, so um, you don't close, you just open something else. And this time we want uh, 3C, open that up. And I don't think I made any changes other than zooming in and out on this last one, so I'm going to choose no. Okay, now let's turn to page 56. And again here, it always comes up too small. And on page 56, I want to open the properties for my cities that are greater than 1 million. So uh, you can right click and choose properties and I think another way is just double click which might be faster and we want the display tab it controls what is displayed when the map is drawn and I want to select the show map tips using the display expression okay and right now the display expression is in this box right here and it's the city name so the city name will be displayed and it says um, click on OK and now when I pause the mouse it will give me the name of the city And now let's turn to the top of page 58. And again, I want to open the properties for the city. So just double click over here. And we want to go to the Labels tab. And near the top of the dialog box, select, select the label features in this layer checkbox. And so there's the checkbox. And this controls what our labels are going to look like on the map. And it says right now, notice that the label field is set to city name. And I want to click the scale range button. And this controls where the labels will be displayed. And we want. Um, when we're out beyond, and let's see if we can get some choices here. We don't get any choices, so I'm going to type in 1 colon 80. Got to turn this radio button on first. Now, okay, um, 1 to 80 million does not show up there, so we're going to have to type it on top. 1 colon 80 comma and this is one place where commas actually work and so it'll turn it off when we get zoomed out so far um, and the reason for that is we don't want them all overlapping one another here when we get zoomed in further that's not a problem and um, now what I want to do is let's zoom in several times here. See right now I'm at 1 to 131 million. It's not going to show until I get to 1 to 80 million. So there's 125 million, there's 100 million, and maybe the next one is going to be 80 million. And as soon as that happens all of these are now visible. And they're still really hard to read over here. Uh, so we'd have to zoom in even more probably uh, to make it useful in Europe. Uh, return to the map's full extent. Here's our full extent button and now we're zoomed out to 131 million. So the names of the cities go away. And now we're on the bottom of page 59 on number 8. Return to the map's full extent. On the tools toolbar, click the Create Viewer Window button.
Okay, so our create viewer window button. <clears throat> and I didn't mean to shrink that, so let's get it back out to its regular size. And here is the create viewer window button. Click on that and turn to page 60 and what we're going to do is we're going to draw a box around Europe so let's go from about here let's say to about there okay and I've got some tools here now for this window that I've created and actually by doing that I just uh, added more than Europe didn't I? Um, can I shrink that back down again by doing that? Oh now I've got a window inside of a window so let's uh, let's kind of go back to where we were before about right there and now what we want to do is we want to click the right arrow in the upper right corner right here and click magnifier and now we've got a magnifier window here that we can put over anything that we want to and we've got some crosshairs here to you know, kind of display exactly what we're zooming in on and as we do that let's go up to New York here and and there's another on your own section at the bottom of page 61 that'll let you do on your own and I'm going to go on to page 62 number 13 close any open window so there's an open window and on the toolbar click the find tool which is usually a pair of binoculars and in the find dialog box um, and it should be coming up for us here in a second <clears throat> 